Hello everybody. Welcome to TOEFL Preparation 1 with me, Mr. Jim, again. And today we are going to continue our lesson, meeting 11. And today we are not talking about listening anymore. We change our topic and today meeting 11, we are focused to structure and written expression. Remember that structure and written expression. Okay, do not afraid, do not feel difficult directly. So when you hear the words grammar in TOEFL, oh gosh, it's very hard, it's very difficult. I do not understand. Oh, oh what is it? Uh, I give up now. It's very important to learn for us to learn TOEFL structure and expression because in every single communication or speaking or even you want to speak in front of the formal situation, the grammar must be our priority so that between our communication and the listener can be acceptable and can be understood each other and try to get understanding between the receiver and the listener. Okay, so meeting 11, structure and structure and written expression. Skill 11 is about use adjective class connector correctly and skill 12 use connector use adjective class connector subject correctly okay thanks uh, skill 11 use adjective class connectors correctly so an adjective class is a class that describe none I repeat an adjective class is a class that describes a noun. Okay, listen to me. Okay, the example. The gift, blah, 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 selected for the bride was rather expensive. The gift, blah, 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 selected for the bride was rather expensive. The option given to you, A, because, B, was, C, since, and D, which we remember our topic, skill 11, adjective class connectors, okay? So if you prefer to choose A or C because and since uh, have connector, but there are no subject. So this answer are not correct, okay? But if you prefer to choose B worse, it means that the passive sentence could be changed all of them but in this case we try to look for the subject okay the subject after the connector so the best answer is the which we okay which we with as a connector and we selected subject and verb so remember in structure and written expression we try to focus to subject and verb Plus, we have to attach it carefully with the tenses, with the verb or to be, and other conjunction or preposition that will support for every single sentence in grammar. Okay? Next, listen to me. Okay, there are two, two examples. Okay, the first example, the woman is filling the glass that she put on the table. I repeat. The woman is filling the glass that she put on the table. In this case, there are two sentences. The woman is filling and she put on the table. The woman as a subject is filling as a verb. And the other one, she put, she as a subject put as a verb. But in this case, there are connectors that after she put. So the best answer that she put as an adjective class. Another example, listen to me. The glass that she put on the table contains milk. The glass that she put on the table contain milk. Okay, there are two clauses. Woman is the subject of the verb is feeling and she, she is the subject of the verb put. That is the adjective clause connector that join these two clauses and the adjective clause that she put on the table to describe the noun class. Okay, so if you hear the connector that which after that they are subject, so it means that they are 
adjective plus. I repeat, if you hear or found later on on the grammar question, they are that with afterward they are subject, so it means that it represents of the adjective class. Be careful for that matter. Okay. Next, adjective class connector could be whom, which, and that. Whom for people, which for things, and that for people of things. I repeat, whom for people, which for things, that for people or things. So remember that. Okay. Next skill 12. Use adjective clause, connector, or subject correctly. In skill 11, previously, we saw that adjective clause connector were used to introduce clauses that describe nouns. In skill 12, we will see that in some cases, an adjective clause connector is not just a connector. Okay, underline connector is not just a connector. An adjective connector can also be the subject of the clause at the same time. That was the given. Yeah, connector is not just a connector, but connector can also be a subject of the clause at the same time. For example, the woman is filling the glass that she put on the table. Okay, the glass that she put on the table contains milk. So from those statements, from those sentences, I think it's very similar, okay, just to change between the connector and put the connector after the verb. The first sentence, example, the woman is filling the glass that she put on the table. Remember, I told you that after the connector there or which and then find the subject it means that they are the adjective connect adjective class or adjective connector okay so for another term uh, for exercise i know that is very very a bit difficult but you have to recognize that if you found the adjective class that and with after that the subject be careful that and try to Analyze that this is an adjective clause that use the connector then or which. Okay, for another exercise you can find on your model or slide meeting 11. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. And we continue for another session for structure TOEFL. Thank you. Bye.